Yo, what is going on guys? This is Wild from Multi Gaming TV and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to lose the cops or how to survive the cops um, in this new PvP update. So if you're a racer and you're getting smacked up by the cops and you're thinking what the hell is unfair, the police are too fast. I mean they made the update to be like that but there is ways to survive it, okay? Now I want to break it down to you, I've been looking at the internet, I've been trying certain stuff myself Certain things I've tried, I already knew that would work, but you got to add another layer to it, which I've done through research, okay? So what you want to do is, you want to do the following, okay? So right now, I've got some normal cars, and of course, every PvP has different uh, level of vehicles, all right? What you want is to have a strong SUV vehicle, all right? So if I go on rides, you see all my rides. Currently, the only SUV I actually have is the Range Rover, which is right here, okay? So I can do this up and I can use this to match the levels of um, the required PvP. When I mean that it could, it could be a B class this time, A class, A plus, S or S plus, which the vehicle tiers are at the top. Um, it depends on the PvP. So if the PvP changes, upgrade your car or downgrade your car accordingly. Um, now, what I do recommend a lot of people that I've seen online saying is to do the following. So on Reddit, most people are saying they're using the big boy SUVs and I'm going to show you which one they're recommending. So if you go on where it says buy stock, go towards where they show you the either the G-Wagon. So we already got the Range Rover, no need to buy that again. Um, the G-Wagon, which is 95,000, can't go wrong guys, it's, it's, it's pretty strong, alright. And the other one they're recommending is the Ford F-150 Raptor. Now I don't think I've got this unlocked, but I'm just going to double check. Uh, is that the baby? That is not the baby. That's not even a Ford. All right, keep going. There it is. Right, so I've got this locked. So it says complete 50 takedowns while racing. Okay, so I've only done two. So again, for me, if I haven't got this unlocked, not a problem. I'm going to stick to the G Wagon, which I'll do for you right now. I'll just show you on the screen and do it with you so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, performance wise, you want to match whatever the PvP says. So if I just go on the PvP now. I will show you what I mean, okay? So I'll simply go into where it says play, find game, go to where it says PvP, and as you can see, if I click on this, it will let me know what levels they're using on the cars. Now we actually start the race, which I don't want it to do, but it will actually show it to me. So let me just quickly do that. Once the race is started, of course I haven't done nothing to my car, I'm going to get smoked, but I'll back out before it does start. Alright, so it shouldn't take too long to load, it's PS5. And of course, it is frustrating because the police cars that the guys can use could be anything from 400 plus Porsches to Range Rovers that are close to S plus as well, 300 and something. So you really got no chance of winning, okay? You actually have no chance of winning. So as you can see right there, I don't have to go into it. It says I need a S class on the right. Can you see it says the scenic route, scenic route, S class endurance, right? So I'm not going to go into that race. I'm going to leave the playlist. I need to make this Range Rover, sorry, this G-Wagon or F-150 or Range Rover, depending on what SUV you're using, a solid S-Class for now. And again, you can downgrade, upgrade accordingly, depending on the playlist. Every day the playlist change, changes. So once we load back into the garage, we want to, again, make it an S-Class, which I can do. All right, but I'm going to just not going to bore you with it. I'm going to go to the second most important part. What you want to do is go to where it says Auxiliary, okay? This is going to help you to defeat the feds, all right? Simple as that. Cops are going to come bashing at you, they're going to hit you, and you need to run away, okay? So what you need is impact protection, okay? Reduces the amount of damage your vehicle receives in collision with cops and racers. This is a must, because you're going to get hit left, right, and center by cops that are AI and real players non-stop. It's 11 grand. I'm sure you got a better um, version of this. There you go. Super version. I'm hoping there's, that's it. There's no elite version of this. But yeah. Put the super version on, all right? Impact protection reduces the amount of damage your vehicle receives in collision. It's 31 grand, but money shouldn't be an issue if you're this far into the game. All right, so I've done that now. I've got impact protection. So I'm not scared of people hitting me and I'm not scared of uh, cops hitting me, including racers, all right? So I'm, I'm happy with that. Second thing you want to equip is actually, now you want to dish out. You want to dish out the damage, all right? <laughs> If it lets you choose it so let's just double check so it's saying increase damage increases the amount of damage other vehicles are receiving collisions now it's removed it it's restricted it why a version of this item is already equipped in this vehicle did i equip the wrong item impact protection 
Okay, cool. So that's a bit annoying. So you can, it's only making you choose either or. So in story mode, you could choose both of these, I believe. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so you can't choose impact protection and then choose to give damage. So I would say stick with impact protection and they got repair kits. I would probably use repair. So automatically refills your vehicle's health three times after surviving critical damage. Once charges are consumed, they refresh at the start of a new session. All right. So this is what you want to do. You want to set up a repair kit or if you're feeling like you just got to run away, I would just simply just run away. But in my opinion, I would just slip on a repair kit. OK, so these two combined would work again. Test them because I thought I was going to slap on these two together according to my Reddit recommendations. But clearly you can only choose one or, or the other. So impact protection is better than damage increase, right, because you're going to get hit left, right and center. So you'd rather be more secure surviving the race than dishing out the damage. But you're still also getting smashed by every cup you can see. And then, of course, I put repair kit. So when my car does reach a bit critical damage, it will repair itself. Give me a chance to survive instead of looking for a gas station. So, of course, max out your car as much as you can. Um, it's not going to really... I don't think any of the the cosmetic parts like bull bars or anything will... Um, make a difference to it so i know the g-wagon has some ball bars all right maybe it doesn't but yeah these com nothing cosmetic will, will make a difference but those two i would do. so my three tips are simple grab an suv grab those parts and you should be able to survive and you should be able to push off and brush off the cops um like i said we do do car meets on this game so if you do want to join us drop a game attack below if you want a more detailed guide for story mode, I have that as well and, 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 and I actually show you how easy it is to lose the cops once you put on um, certain aspects of it. Again, those are story mode cops. This is for the newest update in the PvP. I would recommend sticking to, you know, the stuff I told you. So grab yourself an SUV, grab yourself those two parts and upgrade your car accordingly to uh, match what the PvP is saying. And yeah, pretty much... That's it, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.